All right, everybody, today I'm going to tell you all of the vehicles that my dad has had ever since he started driving. So the first vehicle he had was a 1978 Buick LeSabre Custom. Um, it was rust red with a Lando top, and it was a sedan. One of the pictures a coupe, but his looked just like that, other than that it was a sedan. The next vehicle he had was a 1986 Dodge Caravan LE. It was a woody wagon, and it was brown with the wood all down the sides. It was his mom's. She bought it brand new, and he ended up driving it until his girlfriend in college totaled it. Um, I don't know if it was completely totaled, but she crashed it, and that's how they ended up getting rid of it. Um, I believe it was an LE. He said whatever the base model was is what that one was, and I believe LE was the base model. His next car was a 1992 or 3 Dodge Shadow ES convertible, just like the one in the picture. It was dark green, and it had the beige interior. His next car was a 1995 Honda Del Sol. It was a base model, no spoiler, base model hubcaps, automatic transmission, um, and it was black. He drove that um, up until someone T-boned it. Um, he was driving, he turned, and someone else didn't stop, and they hit his passenger side. Um, then he ended up leasing a 1996 Dodge Neon. It was white, and it had the same wheels as in the picture. No, I take that back. It had the same wheels as in the picture. It was black with a pinstripe. It was not white. And it had those ugly headlights that look like eyeballs. After that, he leased a 1999 Honda Accord. It was black, LX. It had those wheels that are in the picture. It may have had the base model hubcaps. He doesn't remember. But it looked like that. It was black. After that, he ended up leasing a 2002 Volkswagen Jetta. It was a pretty nice car. Well, I don't know that, but Jettas are pretty good. His looked just like the one in the picture, dark blue, base model GL. After that, he had an 86 BMW 5 Series. It was a 535i. It was dark gray, and it had the shark mouth front. That car was cool. That was the car he had when I was born in 2005. Other than it was rusty. The muffler was terrible, so I used to be scared to be in it because it was super loud. And in Michigan, rear-wheel drive vehicles are very much frowned upon, and this was rear-wheel drive, so it ended up actually stalling once because he had to fix it. He had to get it up the driveway. <laughs> um, automatic transmission, pretty cool. After that, he had a 2000 Honda Civic. It was a DX Coupe um, Deluxe automatic transmission. It was black. And he had that from 2006 or 7 to 2012. He ended up selling it because it was leaking oil. After that, he bought the infamous 2011 Ford Escape XLT, all-wheel drive, gray with black interior. And he ended up selling that because he needed something with better gas mileage. And that brings us to the vehicle that he is going to purchase tomorrow night, and you will see on Tuesday night. I'm only going to show you a quick peek of what it is, all right? Here you go. All right, that's all the peek you get. So, yeah, those are all of the vehicles he has owned. He's owned now 11 vehicles, um, and five of them were American, three of them were Japanese, and three of them were German. Um, and that's it.